Neighbors in Summerlin waking up to slash tires. At least a dozen cars hit in just the past two days. It's too bad. And 13 Action News reporter Tom George talked to families who say the serial tire slasher is stranding them in their own homes. Well, it's frustrating enough waking up for work to find that your tires are flat, but once they found out it happened next door, they quickly realized it was no accident. And then when they posted about it on their next door app, they found out there were even more victims right over that wall. I'm so strong. Not even the best little mechanic <laughs> could get his mom back on the road today. We're without a car. I have to stay home with the kids. But that's what happens with an unexpected flat. Having two cars like go down to one, it's kind of complicated. So hopefully we'll be able to fix it by the end of the week. But aside from the stress of unexpected repairs, unease that they're not alone. Three different cars in the street that the same thing happened to them. And go over their fence in a neighboring apartment complex. As you go through the parking lot, one, two, three, four, you start to lose count. 13 tires. That's a lot. More than a dozen in all. You know, if it's a knife, it has to be pretty sharp to get through that. One of them, John Reno's SUV. I just don't understand why anybody would do something like this. The retired military veteran had just gotten new tires, too. Yeah, that's an expense you don't, uh, you don't expect after I bought brand new tires on the car. They say they used to think Summerlin was safe, but lately they're not so sure. It's a pretty easy target. There's no security here. There's no uh, gates here. But now they have each other. They say the silver lining has been getting to know their neighbors to keep a better eye out. Their message for the slasher. Do you have the nerve, the audacity to come and talk to me? I'd like to know why you did it. Now Metro is looking into all these cases. If you have any information, call police. Tom George, 13 Action News.